Well, hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That is right. Today we're going to be making a last minute uh, patriotic door arrangement. Yeah, so welcome everybody. Yes. So, so if your door is just plain, you don't have anything on it, you're not ready for 4th of July, we have the perfect DIY craft for you today. Yes, we, we are making a 4th of July patriotic door decoration. So y'all come on in, welcome. Yes. Say hi when you uh, hop on with us today. Let us know where you're watching this video from. If you are watching us live, if you will just type live in the comments. Uh, if you're watching on replay, type replay in the comments. And if you are a first time viewer, let us know that in the comments because we would like to say hello to you. We definitely would. We appreciate everybody that watches us. We sure do. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna show you what we are working with today. Yes, aren't these little, uh, baskets, uh, they're little metal baskets. These were actually on clearance at Walmart. I think they were $4 and something a piece. So that's pretty yeah. good. And so uh, check out your Walmart for these. That's where we got them. And uh, I love them. I think they're the perfect yeah. little size. They are, they are great. And listen, if you guys ever find any clearance items that you think you can use for a fun DIY project, pick them up. I yes. always love, if I see something like this, like these, metal galvanized metal containers are great they can be used in so many ways so many diy projects floral projects so if you see these on sale for like four or five dollars pick them up because that's definitely, a great definitely definitely and even if if you're not one that you know likes the the plain metal or whatever paint it yeah you can paint it but get for it because sure. that's a good price you can paint these white they look really sure, good they really uh, do painted white yeah distressed a little mm -hmm. if you wanted to yeah yep. now um we've already put our uh styrofoam inside so we've just cut the you know a styrofoam block and put that down in here yeah so, so you will need floral foam for this project we also have several um different you know flower artificial flowers that we're using yeah this is a fourth of july arrangement so of course we've got to have our red white and blue that's exactly so right actually we're going to be using a little bit different because i have these pretty peonies. blue peonies they were the last three we had so i'm going to use these and then i'm using hydrangeas yeah. so you know either one will work great that is like exactly this. right this is this is honestly something that is good for, you know, how a lot of times on a bush, you'll have a couple of little stems left over on a bush if you're making something with it. This is great for that. Yeah, and y'all are gonna be really surprised at how simple it is it to make. Is. Of course, we're making this one for 4th of July. You know, it's patriotic. You could use it for Memorial Day, but you could really do this for any kind of, you know, season or holiday. You could use different flowers. It would work. Definitely. So definitely. we also have these little um, daisies with these pit berries, which we have used a few times in a few different projects, and I just love them. They're perfect they're for so these cute. Yes. kind of things that we're doing. And then, of course, we've got some greenery. So we have yes. some different grassy greeneries we're going to put in here, and we may add some things. Who knows? If you know, yeah, whatever you never, we decide. Whatever never we know. decide. That's right. When you get to making something, you never know what all yeah. you're going to put in it. But I love this fern that we are using, but any any kind of greenery, any fern, whatever you, or it doesn't even have to be a fern. If you like it, put it. You like it, use it. That's right. That's our motto. <laughs> so I'm actually going to start by putting some in the back here, just because if I go ahead and put it, it's easier than waiting until I've got my flowers in there. Now we are using our Grace Monroe Home Glue Skillet, which I will say, if you do not have one oh. of these yet, you need to go ahead and grab one because they are on sale right now for 20% off. That's exactly And we will right. uh, post a link in the comments. If you guys need one of these. these. They rarely, rarely go on sale because they're a special edition item. So now is the time to grab one or two. That's of, right. Of your glue skillet. Yep. Buy one for your friend. Yeah. Yep. Or one for, you know, save it for later. That's right. That's right. But uh, yes, this is a good time to buy it. Okay. So now I've just put one on one side, one in the middle at the back, and one on either side, just like that. So that's just kind of, just like when we green a wreath, we're just kind of giving our base right there, what we're gonna be putting the flowers on. 
So I am going to start with my rhinoculuses. And these are just some red rhinoculuses. Hey and guys. I like these. Hey Susan and Allison. Hey there. Dene and Debbie and Marilyn. Hello, Angel. Hey Kim and Lori and Jackie. We are so glad that y'all are with us today. Yes, we are. Now I'm just putting these. I want my greenery to be just a little bit, you know, peeking out from over top. And I don't want it too high because my little basket, you know, isn't that big. So I don't want them way up here. So I've just got them just a little bit higher than, uh, than my basket. Now these peonies, I mean, uh, these monoculuses have a lot of these leaves. I'm not crazy about these I leaves. I don't like those at I all. I never like them when we use mm -hmm. them. So I usually at least take the bottom off. That's what I did. I took the bottom leaves off because I don't like those at all. Well, I said I did and there's one that's on there. Yeah, Angel, I really like this fern bush too. It is from, I love um, it. what's it from? My tag is off. I oh, think it's craft, craft, craft outlet. outlet. Yeah, I had to think because I got some uh, from Michael's as well. And so I was trying to think, was this the one from Michael's yeah, I, or Craft Outlet? But I believe it is Craft Outlet. I think so too. Okay. So I am just going to bring this one right in the front, just like that. So I've got my, got my rhinoculuses. So now and you will see how easy. I mean, this is really not hard at all. Look, and it looks really pretty with the red, so it you could does. use it, you know, you could make it however you like it. All red, you know, uh, we made a peony, a white peony one, which was really pretty, kind of similar. Oh, it Not was. The same style, it but was a little very bit. similar. But y'all yeah. check out that video uh, if, you, if you really like these kind of door hanger baskets. Because that one, that one turned out pretty good. It well. did. All right, I'm going to just put that this one I've got in the back and just got it up a little bit higher than that one. I'm gonna cut that a little bit shorter. Now, guys, we are using um, wire cutters. I would suggest if y'all are working with florals that you do, if you do not already have a really good pair of wire cutters, get one because you'll yes. need one. They really make things a lot easier. It really does. It, it really does. Um, and the floral ones, I, I've tried several pair of the ones that you can buy specifically for florals, and they are probably great for live, you know, real flowers, but for artificial, trying to cut through those wires just doesn't work for me, so. Okay, so, I've got my, you see where I've got my hydrangeas? I've got one up here kind of in between these two, and it's up a little bit higher. I've got this one in between these two, but I wanted it a little bit lower. I didn't want a complete line like that. And then I've got this one right down there. And I'm leaving the space right here to put a cute little bow. So that's why I've got this one down front, but nothing right there yet. So now I'm gonna straighten out all these little pit berries. Hey, Susan. She said, love your videos. Well, thank you, Aww, Susan. Thank we are you. so glad you're enjoying them. We really are, if, Susan. Uh, if you're not already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, if you will. Uh, click the subscribe button and click that little bell so you get notified when we release new videos. And if you're not following us on Facebook, y'all do that too, because on Instagram and Facebook, we post a lot of, a lot of stuff. So Yes, we really do. You don't want to miss all that. All right. I'm going to put this one, I'm going to have to turn it this way just really quickly. So I'll show you real quick. These are full stems and we're not taking them apart. We're just going to put them right in as they are. And then we can move the flowers and the pit berries yes. around. And I love that these have got so much going on with them. Yeah, I'm we've used those kinda... a few times and I love that you can just put the whole thing in. I do too. And and move everything around where you want it. Yep, it's gonna just look. what I am doing. Good, when we finish, I think. I did not show y'all the ribbon, but this is the ribbon we're gonna use. And I too. love Isn't that, that ribbon. 
You could use any kind of red, white, blue, patriotic, but I like the blue with the little reds. I do spots. too. I'm gonna go ahead before Did I you put, put your my. Second one in there? No, okay. not yet. I was gonna go ahead and put these in really quick. This on one side. So these little um, these little blue flowers are cute. They have a little heather stem on them. Yeah. So and like I said, this is a great little project for any kind of little leftover flowers that you may have. this one and I'll show you where where I'm putting it in just one second so we almost made a fall wreath today for you guys and then we yep. said we're gonna wait one more week before we start doing fall here on flower Friday so y'all let us know if you are ready for us to start making fall arrangements and fall wreaths and things like that i love fall so she is ready i'm, I'm ready. just not and i kept i kept hemming and hawing you know oh, i don't want to do that uh, just i'm just not quite ready there yet so but when we say last minute fourth of july we mean last we mean minute. this was last minute because yes. we had a fall wreath that was already prepared for you guys yes, but we, we will did. wait and we'll do that probably next week yep and we that probably was my will fault. start doing so next we week. can y'all can uh, blame me for that because I just could not. I, I said I, I'm hanging on to my summer as just long a, just as a I can, longer. just a little while longer. Just give me a little while. Let's see. Lori said it is a balmy 104 yes. in Las Vegas. Where she's oh, at. bless you. Yeah, I can imagine because, uh, like I, I was telling somebody uh, earlier that uh, it was 107, I think 106 or 107 on my front porch oh, gosh. at four o'clock yesterday mm. yeah i so, believe it it is hot it is hot here in our shop too now granted you know that's where the sun is coming but still it was hot mm -hmm. i definitely as much as i love my front porch i cannot sit on my front porch at, at three and four o'clock in the day because it's just too oh. too hot okay i am gonna put this one right but i'm gonna cut the end okay. off yeah, I was about to say, mine's a little too long. Let me cut that off. Yeah. And then all I do is I just move some around here and there. Just getting those where I want them to be. this other one or not so we will see once I get this all on so you can just kind of move your flowers around and add you know greenery in there in between you should yes. have plenty of room still in your I'm phone make a quick little bow Now, I'm just going to hand tie this little bow, uh, and to do that, I just dovetailed my ends, and so I've just got the whole ribbon here, and I just folded it in half, and you can do either way. I start at the corner and face up after I've got it folded in half just like that. Amanda actually does it the opposite, so it just, you know, you just want to do it either from the top going down or the corner going up yeah. either way now i'm just gonna give about you know i don't know maybe what is that about four inches and just pinch my ribbon and then i'm gonna make a loop i don't want these loops too big 
because it is just going to go here on the side. So just that's probably what a three inch mm -hmm. little loop. It is loop. not too big. And this has a pretty side and a not so pretty side. So when I get ready to make my next loop, I've got everything pinched in between my finger and my thumb to make my next loop. I turn it so that the pretty side is facing me. And then I just pinch it all together again between my finger and my thumb. And then I bring them up to make sure that they're uh, even. And then I'm just gonna twist to make sure that the pretty side is facing me when I'm looking at it. And pinch another, make another loop and then just pinch that one in between my fingers. Mom, you know what? What? They can't see you make that bow. Why? I'm off. You're off the camera. I'm off the camera. You want it. to redo that? Yes. Let's redo this. I'm so sorry. We're, we're, it's in a different place than it usually yeah. is, so I apologize. I'm so sorry about I, that. I just realized. I'm like... glad she caught that and it wasn't. Okay. Let's <laughs> start <laughs> over. Okay. I got my ribbon. Now, this ribbon has got a pretty side and a not pretty side. So I'm doing everything facing me. So I'm just going to go about three inches. Did did y'all see me dovetail? I don't, I think don't they know saw any of let it. Let me show you about sure. the dovetail. Let me start all the way you over. Let us know, but okay. I'm not sure that y'all saw any of it. Really. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Sorry about that. Okay. I got the end of my ribbon. So I'm just gonna fold my ribbon in half, just like that. Now I start at the corner. And to dovetail it, I just go diagonally going up towards the center, just like that, so that when I open it up, I've got my pretty little dovetail, just like that. Now, I'm going to say that that's, what, about three inches for the uh, tail, and I'm just going to pinch. Now, if you're making a bigger bow and you want the tails longer, wherever it is, that you're just going to pinch it, just like that between your thumb and your, your first finger. So now I'm just gonna make a loop so that right now it's all, the, the pretty side is facing me. And then I'm just gonna pinch it between my finger and my thumb. Now, every time that I'm working on a loop, I want it facing me, the pretty side. So I'm gonna have to twist to make this loop and I just make it down at the bottom just like that because I've got it facing me and I'm just going to bring those up and make sure that they're even just like that and then I pinch everything in my fingers now I'm going to make my next loop I had to twist it to make sure that the pretty side was facing me pinch it together and I just measure it with the one in front of it it does not have to be perfect trust me now I'm going to twist and make my next loop and I just twist it and then just pinch it in my fingers. Twist it, make my loop, pinch it, and then I'm going to twist it so that the pretty is facing me and make my loop. And I think that's all that I want as far as the loops. So then I'm going to twist it so that the pretty side is up. And I'm going to bring this, this tail, it was back here, I just pull it forward, bring this one and pull it forward. And then I've got it about even, just like that. So I just cut those and I will dovetail the other side once I get my wire on it. Hand me a piece of wire, please, ma'am. Okay, let me cut it. Yes, please. Now, you, would, you can use a pipe cleaner for this. Oh. <laughs> You don't need you, that. You can use, you know, anything like that. I, we just use our floral wire. So I'm just going to take it and bring it in the middle just like this. And I just kind of got it under my thumb. And then once I get it so that it's in the middle, I bring all of those loops and just hold them all in my hand just like that and take the wire and twist it several good times. And then I just kind of wrap the wire around my finger so that I can fluff it. And then just fluff out my 
my tails. It's very, very easy. While she's doing that, I'll make a quick one on the bow dabra for those yes. of you who like using a bow dabra. Oh, I and, already put my wire in. Here. Yep, and now I'm just dovetailing this other end. Just like that. So, Let me tell them this real quick. To put it in my my bucket where I want it, I'm using a wooden, uh, what do you call them? Wood pick. pick. All of a sudden I went <laughs> blank. And I don't use the wire on it for this. I'm just using the wire from my ribbon, from my bow that I just made and just wrapping it around the wooden pick, just like that. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do a quick mm -hmm. one here on the bow dabra. So I just got my loops again. These are probably about three or four inch loops. Twist, make your next loop, twist. How many loops did you do on that? I just did one, two, three, four, six, okay. six little loops. So, and then twist and make that final loop. I must have already put this wire in there because I don't remember putting it in there, but I must have. <laughs> Evidently you did. Or who knows, maybe I did. <laughs> uh, there's no tailing. Take it around, just tighten that wire. Yeah, you can use a flower stem. You you know, if yes. you don't have uh, the wooden picks, anything like that would work. That's why I say, I, I say to save your um, picks and your, uh, you know, stems. Yeah. I have a whole stack over here that we save for things like that. What I just did. What? I cut my wire. Can I have oh. a pick, please? I hope yes, I didn't cut my wire too short, but I might have. You probably didn't. But that's okay. I bet you can I will use, use the other wire if I did. I think I'm going to add one more of my little ferns. Because I love this fern. I think it is so huge. I'm just going to stick that right down there. It, I really like this ribbon. I do too. That Swiss dot. Now I'm bending my stem. I hope I'm in the frame. Let's see. I'm bending my <laughs> stem just like that because I'm going to let this one kind of hang down here, down the side a little bit. And we have this other grassy greenery too that's pretty. Yes. Uh, this is kind of, it's not, it's kind of. A bit pricey though. It is very pricey. So if you can find the, the fern, you know, it might be better just to save a little money. Yeah. Oh, and Leslie said barbecue ske skewers were good too. Oh, they would. <laughs> yes. Any, honestly, anything like that is perfect, you know, to, to use the picks with. But see how, I mean, they really are easy. Just, just have fun with it. Just you know, add the flowers you want to add. Um, if you don't have, you know, any little daisies and you've got little white roses or anything like that, just sprinkle those throughout. Mm -hmm. Anything like that would be cute. What would really be cute, and I wished I was not out of them, is to have the flag, oh, you know, an American flag any? there. No, I'm out. Man, that would be cute. I am completely so out, if you but it would. little star, um, yes. like picks or sprays or something like that. Anything would like the that red, would be really stars. cute. You could do that. Yep. So aren't you those guys, fun? I use this last, uh, yep, your sale. Yep. I need to move my binoculars over because it's getting mashed by my bow a little bit. Well, I won't add that this side, but hmm. I guess I won't add it. But these are really cute. Aren't they cute and very, very easy? Yes. yes. Wouldn't Little, that be cute? Uh, firecracker looking. Anything things. like that would be cute. Decorations, glitter picks, all that yes. kind of fun stuff. But these are cute, simple, very I mean, so simple. Easy. Very and, and simple. Really, I mean, you know, you can honestly, you can just throw some flowers in here. It's going to look cute. It Trust really me, will. It will. When you've got a bucket like that, at, the main thing is just kind of decide your shape and then just go for it. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, you know, I remember before 
just being afraid to try, you know, but don't be afraid to try. Just do it. Just try it. I promise it's going to be easier than you think. Uh, yeah, it will be. So y'all definitely give this a try. Like we said, if you don't want to do the patriotic and you just want to, you know, you could do it in all red. Yes. You, know, you could do all, you know, all roses or all peonies or, you know, whatever. It would look cute. It really uh, would. And it's, a, and it's an easy way. And there's these from Walmart. They have a hanger on the back. They do. So, you know, you could easily hang it on a wall, on a front you door. You surely could. Indoor use, outdoor use. I know a lot of people ask us about the uh, UV spray that we like to use, especially when we have really bright colors of florals outside. And this is the one that we're using right now. This is the, the UV. Krylon. It's mm -hmm. Krylon. Now, Krylon does make an actual one that says floral UV resistant. Either one will work. They really do. They're, you they're just spray it. About the same. Spray it on. That's it. I usually spray a couple of coats. I'll spray it, let it dry, and then come through and spray it again, and it works perfectly. But these are perfect for uh, indoor or outdoor use. So yes, they are. Give these a try. Yes, these are so <laughs> much fun. And uh, if you have not already checked our, our blog, we've got several new posts on oh, there, so y'all check those out. All kinds of just really fun things on there. So if you haven't gone to our blog lately at gracemanrowhome.com, we invite you to check that out we also invite you to join us in design with the pros oh, club definitely. where is our newest oh it's not out here is nope, it? nope it's in my house well, sorry uh we had a really fun tutorial with our members yesterday yes. and i'm loving loving the uh wreath that we made it was a fall wreath it was our first fall it wreath was of our the year. first fall one of the year it was and i have to say i loved it too but we have a lot of really fun tutorials coming up in design with the pros club so if you are not already in there with us Come join we us. We would love for you to join us. We would. When you join, you immediately have access to over a hundred tutorials yes. on both making wreaths and florals and selling your wreaths and florals. Right. So you can take your hobby, you know, to a profit making business. Exactly. And uh, so we encourage you to, yes, to join come us. Do we would that. love for you to. So I'll and put the link for that in the comments as yes. well. Yes. And when she was talking about the blog, I was thinking about the fact that have you ever wanted to make your own doormat? Because we've got a blog on there that uh, just shows you how to do that. Yeah, I just put they that are on so there much today. Fun. We've got mm -hmm. some fun 4th of July decorations on there as well. Yes, so we do. So y'all go check it out. All right, guys. Well, thank y'all so much for joining us. If you are new to us, we are live every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, on our Facebook page, usually our YouTube page as well, but sometimes it's a little later on YouTube. Uh, but we are live at 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time for Flower Friday Live, so y'all be sure to join us next week. That's right. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.